What is up YouTube? Your boy Addiction here back again on Addiction TV. Today I will be talking about the top 10 movies that I am looking forward to of 2019. The movies I'm ready for, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be the shit. I love movies and I feel like this is going to be a good year. So I'm going to give you my top 10 right here on Addiction TV. So I feel like it's going to be a good year for movies, man. 2019, and there's definitely a lot of movies I'm looking forward to this year. And these are my top 10. There's more than 10, but I'm going to go ahead and do 10. Maybe I could do a separate list, but let's go ahead and get into this list. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Rob Zombie's Three from Hell. The sequel to House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. We haven't had a good Rob Zombie movie in years. 31 was decent, Lords of Salem was black, El Super Bisto was funny, but I've been wanting a Devil's Reject sequel. I don't know how they're going to go about it though, because they died at the end of the Devil's Rejects. Um, and it's like, where are they going to go with this? And they can't make it a prequel. I mean, Sherry Moon Zombie, Sid Haig, and Bill Mosley look old. No offense, guys, but anyways, we'll see what they do with it. Maybe they got away from it. You never know. It might be a good story, but anyways, that was number 10. Coming in at number 9 is going to be Men in Black International, starring Chris Hemsworth and uh, I think Tessa Thompson. I love the Men in Black movies, except for Men in Black 2. Men in Black 2 was pretty corny. The first Men in Black was cool. The, uh, the third one was cool. And I like uh, Chris Hemsworth, and I think Tessa Thompson, uh, she was in Thor Ragnarok. I like her. Um, and I'm ready to see what they do with it. No more Tommy Lee Jones or Will Smith. Kind of sad, but hey, everything changes in life. So that's number nine. Coming in at number eight is going to be Joker. Starring Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. I think he is a good pick for the role. I really think he was a good pick for the role. Because we already know the motherfucker's weird. <laughs> we know he could play crazy. We've seen it many times on screen. You know, and... I want to see what he could do with the character. I like all the versions of the Joker I've seen on film because they're so different. A lot of people hated on Jared Leto in Suicide Squad as the Joker. I liked it. I actually enjoyed it. You know? So, hey. Fuck it. Whatever, man. Shit happens when you party naked. But that's the number eight spot. Coming in at number seven is going to be Captain Marvel. Marvel Studios. Captain Marvel. I am excited for this film. You guys know I love my MCU movies. Big Marvel Cinematic Universe fan right here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? And I also like Brie Larson. I remember the first time I seen Brie Larson, it was in 21 Jump Street. <laughs> and I'm like, ha, she's funny. But no, Captain Marvel, I'm excited about it. Um, I'm ready to see where they take the MCU after Captain Marvel, you know? So, you never know. Could be bad, could be good. But hey, it's Marvel. They, they ain't made too many mistakes, in my opinion, besides The Incredible Hulk. I did not like that film for some reason. But that's just me. Coming in at number six is going to be Zombieland Double Tap. Finally, a sequel to Zombieland. I loved Zombieland. Woody Harrelson, uh, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg. It was hilarious. I thought it was funny as hell. The blood and gore was cool. Bill Murray was funny in there. Um, and now we're getting a sequel. It's probably been about, what, 10 years since the uh, first one came out. But who cares? We'll see what, what's going on with those characters. I like their characters. And I actually, I like the title to the sequel, Double Tap. <laughs> Throwback to the rules you got to have to live in a zombie apocalypse, you know. I like that a lot, so... Coming in at number five is going to be Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I'm looking forward to that movie. Hey, y'all have heard me say it many times. I love Pokemon. I've always loved Pokemon, but I mean, I fell off. There's certain Pokemon I like. I like the Kanto League. The Johto League was cool. Pokemon now that they come out with, there's like 800 fucking Pokemon. I'm like, ah, all right. But the original, with the original cast and everything, you know, but I'm excited to see a live action movie. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. 
I'm excited to see a live action Pokemon movie. That'll be the shit. So, coming in at number four is going to be Spider-Man Far From Home. Dude, I'm so excited for this movie because they finally brought in a villain we have not seen on screen and it's someone I've been wanting to see in a movie since I was a kid and that is Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, Jake Gyllenhaal is playing Mysterio. Crazy pick. He'll probably kill it, though. He'll probably do a good job. I was kind of iffy about, you know, Michael Keaton playing Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. I was like, damn, I don't know if this is going to this is gonna go real good or it's going to go real bad, you know? So, Spider-Man Far From Home is the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming. And I will say, I love Tom, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I liked Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, too. Tobey Maguire, eh, not so much. I still watched the movies. They were cool, but eh, there's just something so bland and something so fucking boring about Tobey Maguire. I don't know, man. He just don't have that Peter Parker charm, you know, that fucking funny, kind of like Deadpool, but not as dirty, you know what I mean? So that's that's how it goes, man. So, you know, coming in at number four is Spider-Man Far From Home. Coming in at number three is It Chapter 2. Man, It Chapter 2, I'm excited for this movie. Chapter 1, the first It was great. Uh, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Dancing Clown was great. Tim Curry did a good job, but I definitely like this version of Pennywise a lot better. The film was good. It was gruesome. A lot of people hated the clown. They said he wasn't funny. Dude, it's a horror movie. Who gives a fuck? You know? It's like you're supposed to be scared of this clown. And the original Pennywise, the dancing clown, um, played by Tim Curry, just wasn't scary to me. But that's just me. I know a lot of people have, a, have that fucking clown phobia and they can't deal with it. You know what I mean? So, I guess I understand. I don't like spiders, so... But I can watch spider movies, you know. But, hey, whatever, man. It happens. So, coming in at number two is going to be Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I am a huge Godzilla fan. I have been a huge Godzilla fan since before I could walk. You know, back when Godzilla was nothing but Japanese movies, I've loved Godzilla since... Obviously, I wasn't alive for it, but when I saw the 1954 Godzilla, Gojira, man, I was like, this is some cool shit. And then I went on, I've seen every, every single Godzilla movie that has ever been put out. Some great, some garbage, a.k.a. Godzilla 1998 with Matthew Broderick and 2016 Shin Godzilla. Oh, man, please get that crap out of here. It was bad. I mean, dude, y'all know I love Godzilla. Shit, that's my baby. This is my baby, man. I've had this motherfucker since, man, probably 93, 94. I've probably had this motherfucker about, I've had it over 20 years, you know. I love Godzilla. You can see, the, I got Space Godzilla, Mothra, Red, I've just got a random Red Godzilla. And, oh man, check this out. I do not know how I kept this over 20 years. I really don't. Look at the size of this Godzilla. Dude, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Look how small that is, man. So, yeah, I'm ready for Godzilla. So, now we're here. Hey, brother, can't talk. I'm sorry, y'all. I got speech impediments coming out of me. But anyways, coming in at number one, ugh, we're at the top. I bet y'all wondering what it is. I'm sure you guys could probably guess. And it is Avengers Endgame. I am so excited for Avengers Endgame. Parts of me are excited. Parts of me are like, no. Everything's got to change, though. I have a feeling some of the important ones, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, they're probably going to bite the dust. You know what I mean? Probably. And it's like, fuck. But it's alright, man. We, I mean, we've had Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man for over ten years now. Um, Avengers Infinity War was such a cliffhanger. It's like, damn. 
I finally can sit down and find out what happens at the end of next month. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Marvel, we already talked about Captain Marvel, but Captain Marvel makes an appearance in Avengers Endgame. And Captain Marvel comes out tonight in theaters. I will be going to see it. You guys know that. <laughs> so, coming in at number one is Avengers Endgame. I'm excited as hell. I love the cast, and I'm not sure if I'm ready to see such a big change in the MCU, but it's time to see it, you know, so. That's my list for movies coming out in 2019 that I'm excited for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go down, like, and subscribe. Until next time, YouTube, everybody have a good night.